The National Variety Release and Technical Committee under the Ministry of Food and Agriculture has inspected and approved the release of five new maize, four millet genotypes for the 2015 farming season. The new varieties are high yielding and more adaptable to the savanna ecological zone and can enhance food security and income of farmers in the maize and millet value chain. A visit to the on station trial salary by the National Variety Release and Technical Committee and stakeholders revealed that the recommended varieties performed creditably and were high yielding. A maize breeder Asari Haruna Alidu gives further insight into the new variety. Uh, stress factors that is the drought and then the striker. So you have four of the varieties we have uh, incorporated drought tolerance and then striker tolerance in it. So with side varieties, if you find yourself uh, in a uh, drought prune area, it means that side varieties are good for you and if you plant, you can harvest very good yield. With, uh, and also, if you are also found in, a, in an area where we have straga infestation, especially straga hemontica, these varieties will be very good for that uh, for uh, such areas. So it is based on this that we, we, we felt that yes, we need to come out with these varieties that can help farmers to also uh, to get good yield with all these problems, with all these stresses coming, you can still get good yields. Director for the Savannah Agricultural Research Institute, Sari, Dr. Stephen Lutugan said the new varieties are rich in lysine, which is good for lactating mothers. It has good uh, lysine quality and you know that maize, uh, the local variety of maize that we have in the country lacks that vital uh, element. And I can tell you that the new varieties that we are proposing has rich sources of lysine and is good for the health of uh, lactating mothers. A member of the National Variety Release and Technical Committee at the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, Menu Adai, was hopeful that the new hybrid would help improve the livelihood of farmers. One aspect that we have to consider is that the northern environment is dry and that makes it possible for us to introduce varieties that can withstand the dry conditions. And the varieties that are coming out for, for us to release uh, are, are of this type, they are drought tolerant. And I think uh, if the farmers get them, uh, they are going to improve their yields and their livelihoods are going to be improved. Further advise farmers in the northern region to purchase seeds from truly certified seed growers in order to avoid contamination. From Nyangpala in the Tolon district, Luanash, Fovasa One News.